As you can tell just by looking at me, I am a freak. But I was not born a freak, oh no. I was born relatively normal, not unlike, well, somebody here, I'm sure, anyway. So I had to do a lot of strange things to my body to become the freak that stands here before you tonight. And before I get into the acts I want to do for you, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've done to myself to become the freak you see before you. First and most obviously is the tattoo. Appropriately enough for the tattoo conventions, right? This is a tattoo. There is no makeup on my body. It covers me from head to toe, top to bottom, face included. It's taken about 700 hours for me to get to the point where I'm at so far. Probably got another 50 to 100 hours to go. But as great as it was tattooing my entire body, I still wanted to take things a little bit further. So you might have noticed already some of the things I've done, like these ridges over my eyes. They were formed by having Teflon surgically implanted onto my skull. I've also had my teeth filed down into sharp points. <laughs> but of course, the reason that I am known as the lizard man around the world is because of my tongue. Or I should say my tongues, plural, because I do have two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I can tell by the smile on your face exactly what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not going to be so crude as to say what that is, but I will tell you this. You're absolutely right. It's fantastic for that. In fact, I'm going to show you all something I can do with my tongues right now that, ladies, you never knew was possible. But somehow, still, you've dreamt of it your entire lives. It looks like this. That is the sound of her imagination running wild. But folks, I didn't come all the way here from Austin, Texas to Sweetie just to stand on the stage and wiggle my tongues at you. As much fun as that often is. Now, I came here because I want to share with you folks some of my favorite acts from the great American tradition that is the sideshow. And I'm going to start off with something, uh, actually because it's the last show, I'm going to go a little off script, but here's what I'm going to do. I want to open up something really dangerous. One of the most dangerous things in the world. It's very, very dangerous, but you probably have it in your own home. It's scissors. Yeah, I know, I see the looks on your faces. Like, those scissors aren't dangerous. Yes, they are. Don't you remember when you were a kid and your mother told you not to run with scissors? I mean, if your parents loved you. I don't know, maybe your parents didn't love you. My parents loved me. They told me all the time, don't run with scissors. And one day I found out exactly why they didn't want me to run with scissors. It was because they were afraid they would come home and find me like this. Or, even worse, they could have come home, and I could have been running with scissors, and they could have found me like this. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Nervous applause is the best applause. <laughs> now, I can tell what some of you are thinking. Some of you right now are thinking to yourselves, man, that is crazy. No, it's not. The crazy part about shoving scissors in your face is not putting them in your face. The crazy part is when you open them up. scissors out. It's gonna open up a little more. There we go. Ah, yeah. Come. Hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Probably should have closed them first. Ah, there we go. 